Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 21st, 2021. Well, yesterday was one of those ugly days in the market and probably punished a few folks out there, and we're seeing a punishing gap up this morning if you happen to hold short overnight so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone well my goodness we had kind of a rough day yesterday with a substantial sell-off let's take a look at this and see if it made any sense if you take a look right down here we came right down into a price support level that you see across this chart on the dow so it was much more substantial than i think a lot of folks expected um, but we did find some price support and then we started to rally at the end of the day. And as you can see, we're looking for a substantial gap up open this morning. As a matter of fact, Dow futures are looking um, 288 points at the moment higher. We've been up over 300 points this morning um, in the pre-market. Now, before you get too excited about that, that I want to point out here that from the low of yesterday to where we are right now is about 600 points in the Dow. Now, obviously, that creates a very difficult situation, a very difficult condition if you try to buy into this market or into these indexes, that's going to put you at a pretty substantial, um, have a, a really large risk to a stop loss in that. So be really careful. I did hear Jim Cramer said there was no reason. He saw no reason to think about jumping right back into this market. And I'm going to have to agree with that today because there is significant danger here in this trade. Now, let's keep in mind, um, it is exciting and it is nice to see a relief for rally coming into the market but this is tremendously emotional and you can see we still have a downtrend here in play we still have significant resistance levels in this chart that still need to be dealt with and if you take a look we're way below our 50-day moving average here in the chart so let's keep in mind that any rally back could be just an opportunity for those bears to re-engage and push us right back down toward that 200 day moving average. It's a very, very typical pattern that when we fail the 50, it's usually not a straight line down to the 200, but that possibility does exist. So watch that carefully in here if we happen to roll over. You wanna also pay attention to this in the Dow that our short term moving averages are crossing down through that 50-day moving average. So we have this area in here of price resistance with all of this wild volatility and those moving averages creating this zone of resistance in the chart along with the downtrend. So be kind of careful here. We've got, we've got some recovery to do. And unfortunately, the Evergrande situation has not been resolved. There is some hopefulness that Beijing will step in and do something with it. But with their markets being closed over there, that's still an unknown. We don't know what they might do and how this um, situation may reverberate across the country. Another thing that would be important to pay attention to is the big change in bonds now overnight. This is a little bit of a dangerous situation. 10-year treasuries this morning were down 17 points and the 30-year treasuries fell 15 basis points. These are basis points. So pretty significant drops. Well, what that means is that there are a lot of traders crowding into the bond market trying to protect themselves um, if this contagion of credit crisis starts to spread around the world. So watch that carefully here today. There's still likely going to be some significant gyrations in this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY 
had a pretty rough day yesterday pushing down notice that we 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 didn't quite make it to a significant support here in the chart that always leaves me a little concerned when we bounce from kind of a mid-air point um, that always sets that stage that we could get a rally back and then fail right on back down to test this support level in the chart let's also keep in mind that we have significant resistance levels in this chart that have now been created we have the gap fill area right here we also have this price resistance right here that we may be reacting to first thing this morning. So as we rally back up, watch those resistance levels closely. Now there's no reason to believe that the bulls can't push on through and that we could see a potential short squeeze today. And that, you know, a lot of folks got short and if they held those shorts overnight, they'll be squeezed out this morning. And that can create a significant upside move. But we still have a lot of work to get up through that downtrend. And if we run into these price resistance levels in here, that's exactly the place where we would look for that potential rollover um, on down. Now let's take a look at our moving averages. We crashed through that 50 day moving average and if I draw that downtrend in here again, it actually would make some sense to rally back into this area. This pattern that I'm drawing out here um, in hit run candlesticks right way options, we call this a bearish H pattern. And it's a very, very common pattern when we fail underneath that 50 day. So in my favorite shorting pattern of all time is a failure of the 50 day and a rally back to that 50 day. And I look for that potential failure. So watch that closely. Could we rally right back up and just recover? Yes, we've seen that in the past here on the market. The, the bulls certainly have had that energy in the past, but I suspect yesterday's move shook that confidence a little bit. And if we wiggle back to the downside, those bears could re-engage pretty hard. So watch that closely. Let's take it. So we did create some significant technical damage here. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the QQQ has been the strongest of the market and it remains the strongest index in the market. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday. So yesterday we dropped down here and we, we first off we crashed down through this level of price support and we pushed down to the bottom side of it um, but we did hold at this bottom side so notice that this index is showing a good potential bounce point and um, we do have to kind of keep in mind that although we're bouncing here this area right in here now will serve as price resistance and we also have additional price resistance above of the support and the gap fill. And we have this little downtrend in play. Now this isn't a very significant downtrend, but still an important place to be paying attention to if we rally into these areas and can't push on through. That would be those areas of potential failure. So watch that closely. Now remember, uh, for me, there is no recovery um, in a chart until we break downtrend and we create the higher low. So if we can break up through here, if we can pop up through, prove a higher low, hey, now we're bullish, we've got an upside trend resumption, but not until then. So be really, really careful chasing in this morning because just imagine how ugly it would be if we were to push up here this morning and whipsaw right back down to these lows. That could be really, really painful for someone that chases in today. So be very, very careful. Also, the technical damage occurred here where we broke below our 50 day moving average. And we could just catch that rally back right into that 50 area. Again, there's that price resistance level. And that's where we run into trouble and we do that kind of a move. So watch that carefully. Then if we take a look at IWM, I had been mentioning the fact that IWM had a very high probability of testing its 200 day moving average. And we did that yesterday in a big way, failing on down. Now let's take a look at the price action in here. 
we still have this overall downtrend going on here in our T2122, or I mean in our um, IWM. We have broken some significant price support levels in this chart and created some resistance levels as we have done that for any potential move back up. We failed once again our 50-day moving average and we ended up failing down through our 200-day. And what I want you to pay attention to is even though we're rallying back this morning, we're gonna run into some significant price resistance in this chart as we rally back. So watch that carefully as we rally up. We could certainly find those sellers in there to push us back down. And I do also want to point out that possibility. Notice how that blue 50-day moving average is declining pretty sharply and that 200-day is rising and we're going to very, very soon create a uh, what they call the death cross, 50 crossing down through the 200. So a lot of work will have to be done here for before this could get bullish. For me, I think before I could see this as bullish, we're gonna have to break above that downtrend and break above that resistance level right there, get up there and hold, then I can get bullish on the trade. But until then, I will be watching this closely for a potential short. Let's take a look at our VIX this morning. Now our VIX, oof. VIX got busy yesterday, really ramping up, and notice that the VIX broke through this downtrending um, area of the chart. Now we pulled back yesterday pretty significantly in that rally at the end of the day, but notice we still have a big potential move back into this area that we could bounce off of. And also keep in mind that we have this little upside trend going. So if we were to push down even into here, we have that potential that we could bounce up off if this ever grand contagion kind of spreads around the world. So watch carefully for that. We also have major issues that we've yet to deal with. We have a debt ceiling that's running into a, we're running into a problem with a lot of political wrangling going on over that. We have an FOMC meeting coming up. And remember, we still have issues with jobless claims and inflation and things like that. So we've got a lot of uncertainty here to deal with. So it certainly wouldn't be out of the question to see those bears be a little bit, bit more feistier than they've been um, in the past. And investor confidence has probably shaken to its core here yesterday. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now this is the good sign T2122 signaled that we were in an oversold condition yesterday and, and the bounce should not have been a major surprise. I was concerned that there could be additional news about Evergrande and that contagion kind of spreading, but that seems to uh, have been calmed just a little bit um, this morning. So we are in an oversold condition and that is that place where we can catch that nice little relief rally. And for now, that's all it is. It's a relief rally as long as our index has remained below price resistance levels. But watch that closely. A relief rally is certainly something we could enjoy here and that nice little bounce back up here in the market. Um, let's take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107, this is not a pretty sign. It is showing kind of an oversold in the short term we could we should see a pretty substantial bounce back rally on this today but kind of keep in mind guys um we've only this as of this morning we've only got 39 percent of the stocks that are above their 200 day moving average that's not a healthy market and with all of this weight pulling down it's going to be really difficult um, to lift all of that back up can be done, can certainly be done. We could for, certainly start to find some value in some of these stocks that are heavily oversold, but there's a lot of work yet to do before we can really say the all clear has been sounded and we can get back to some bullish trading. Um, I think there is that possibility where the bears may continue to just fight a little bit harder at this point. Let's take a look at our T2101. What was interesting yesterday 
is I would have expected a, a lot bigger surge yesterday in our T2101. We should have really, on that sell-off wave, we really should have spiked significantly higher here with the heaviness that we had in the market. We didn't. So that gives us that little bit of bullish hope, that little bit of bullish hope that we can see that energy come into play on the buy side. When we see a big expansion in market breadth on the sell side, that's where problems can really exist. We didn't get that, so it wasn't terrible yesterday. Although it was painful, it wasn't terrible yesterday. And um, we could watch for that relief rally maybe to pick up here, gain a little bit of energy, watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we don't have a whole lot to worry about here this morning, but we do have the beginning of the FOMC meeting. We know that tomorrow we're going to have uh, the FOMC decision and that Fed press conference. There is obviously the talk of potential taper. Yesterday's sell-off may have provided them some cover to say we're not going to taper. I'm kind of of the opinion I don't think they can taper, but um, we'll wait and see what that decision is um, uh, for tomorrow. And um, keep in mind that today we're going to have housing starts and permits coming out just before the open today. Now this has started to become a little bit problematic. We're seeing those mortgage applications decline pretty sharply where um, prices and consumers are running into some trouble. So our consensus is coming in here looking for a little bit of increase this morning here based on the Econo Day calendar anyway, looking for a little bit of an increase. Remember, if that were to come in below expectations, that puts that bearish pressure back on the market. Um, and it wouldn't be all that surprising if you think about uh, think about that because of the high pricing in housing. So watch that closely. And then um, kind of keep in mind that as you plan forward, we've got that FOMC. It is not out of the question, guys, that we could see this gap up this morning and then just see the market kind of stall and get very, very quiet. We could see a lot of whipping around, but we're just waiting for that FOMC meeting that's pretty common so kind of keep that in mind today might not be the best day to be buying up positions let's take a look at some uh our, our excuse me our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar a little bit bit busier today we have 11 companies on the calendar but we have and several of those are our uh, unconfirmed reports but we do have a few we want to pay attention to here this morning so let's take a look uh, some of the notables fdx fedex will be reporting today keep a close eye on that this has been in an ugly ugly downtrend as we see transports struggling if you guys are studiers of the dow theory we need transports to be doing way better for a bullish um, market and right now they're just not so watch that closely if FedEx can produce a good earnings report there may be some opportunities here for that to bounce um, ADBE Adobe will be reporting today now this has been holding up in a very bullish pattern notice that even with all of the selling yesterday Adobe really didn't get involved so keep a close eye on this this afternoon as Adobe reports that could be an interesting chart to be paying attention to ACB cannabis has been ugly oh my goodness cannabis stocks have been ugly ugly just downtrend 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 um, so um, watch this report this morning could potentially get things moving here just a little bit but still very bearish chart overall we're going to hear from AutoZone AZO oh nice bullish move here this morning apparently they've reported well got a nice little uptrend going keep a close eye on this though we're pushing right into price resistance in the chart so this gap up this morning right into price resistance is where you could find some sellers but if we can push right on through AutoZone looking bullish here how about um, CBRL? CBRL is on the list. That'll be reporting today. Little bit of a higher low starting to show up in here. It's one of the patterns I kind of like to watch where we break the downtrend, hold a higher low, see some bullishness. So Cracker Bell barrel may start perking up here in that chart. Couple others, we have NEOG 
reporting today. Um, that's not looking too healthy here this morning. So keep an eye on that and SFIX um, reporting today as well. So watch that ugly downtrend, but it's trying here, trying to come back up here just a bit. So with that, everyone, um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, please click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does share these videos. They click that share button, share them out on your social media feed. It helps us to continue to grow. And a huge shout out to the folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link that you'll find just below the title of the video. Guys, um, I, I, I wanna tell you that um, I, I'm very humbled. Um, we just went over 24,000 subscribers, so we're on that way to the 25,000 area. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, if um and you guys are awesome Matt, thank you so much let's take a look at a few stocks that we might want to pay attention to but i got to tell you guys there's still we still have to exercise some significant caution um, for long trades in the market but let's take a look at a couple that may have some merit now intel suffered here pretty hard yesterday but i gotta tell you this inverted head and shoulders pattern that i see here in intel is giving me some some thoughts that intel could start to recover now intel is is you know one of the ugly charts in an otherwise very very bullish um uh, market so keep an eye on this there's that downtrend we pressed back down yesterday to test that hard broke through but we're popping back up this morning so let's watch this in here if we can hold in this area there is that opportunity if tech is going to pick back up intel might come up off of that floor and start lifting up a little bit keep a close eye on that um, stock it may have some merit here in the market um, take a look at um, some of these stocks like Pfizer now Pfizer has been selling off here in the charts but we know these um, med stocks have done really really well been really really strong so let's watch this right in here we perked up yesterday while everything else was selling kind of an interesting thing going on and watch this right in here trying to break that downtrend so if we can hold up in here there may be some upside opportunity coming here in Pfizer uh, got some work to do it's it's not out of the woods yet um, we still have that potential that we could fail through this area so watch that close um, other places that you might want to look is take a look at some health care now um, Healthcare had some selling yesterday, but notice it wasn't terrible. And if you jump into healthcare, you can see that there were some strong companies and they're starting to perk up here today. So take a look at like ISRG starting to perk up. We're seeing some, some love coming in here. Uh, Biogen um, was starting to uh, show some signs yesterday of wanting to perk back up. So there are some things out there. MRNA is still holding in a very bullish consolidation pattern here in the chart so keep a close eye on stocks like that not a whole lot I think that is really showing lots of great bullish patterns but um, there are those few things starting to show some signs one of the things that I would suggest though guys is as we rally back when we break I'm going to go back to the spy when we break the 50-day moving average here and we rally back up. What you're gonna to start to see from me is instead of a bunch of long picks, if we fail up here around that 50 day moving average, you're gonna start seeing short picks because I wanna move with the direction of the market. So watch for that, those potentials that there could be some short plays coming in to the market. Now, um, back on the long side of things here, just really quick, there are some stocks like Visa. Visa, 
extremely oversold below its 200 day moving average notice um, yesterday a big response back up after that selling yesterday so if this can start to break this downtrend in here hold some support then we have a pattern here that could turn into a nice bullish recovery so keep an eye on some of those stocks as they try to recover so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day we have some ugly charts out there we have an ugly index charts and i know that's a little bit painful if you don't have much experience do yourself a favor stand aside protect your capital and let's wait for better trading days before you jump in let's remember that if we jump into this trade today on the Dow we're actually putting ourselves in a position where the stop loss has to be over 600 points lower that's a dangerous place to be trading. So stand aside a little bit, protect that capital. The market will correct itself. We will find um, some direction here and spill off some of this volatility. So give it some time and wait, be patient. Um, with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all of the best of success. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.